you chose four-wheel drive to take you exactly where you want to go, on-road or off. Your 4WD system provides four different modes. Let's take a closer look. 2WD provides high-range rear-wheel drive for normal driving on dry, hard surface roads. 4WD lock sends power to all four wheels for extra traction on loose, slippery surfaces. And 4WD low provides added traction with maximum pulling power for loose, slippery surfaces at low speeds. Do not exceed 25 miles per hour or 40 kilometers per hour when using four-wheel drive low. Neutral disengages the front and rear drive shafts. Use it for flat towing behind another vehicle. To shift from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive, use the four-wheel drive control to select the desired position. You can shift between two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive lock, whether you're stopped or driving. However, if you shift while driving, the transfer case will engage or disengage faster if you momentarily release the accelerator pedal after using the control switch. When stopped, you can't shift unless the ignition is in the on-run position. The engine can be running or off. You can't perform this shift with the ignition in the ACC or accessories position. Keep in mind, the vehicle won't shift between two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive lock if the front or rear wheels are spinning. The wheels must have traction to perform this shift. You can shift into four-wheel drive low when driving slowly or stopped. To perform this shift while moving, slow down to two to three miles per hour or three to five kilometers per hour. Then, put the transmission in neutral and select four-wheel drive low while still rolling. If you want to perform this shift while stopped, put the ignition into the on-run position and shift the transmission into neutral. Select four-wheel drive low, then shift the transmission back into gear. You may hear some gear noise when shifting in or out of four-wheel drive low. This noise is a safe part of normal operation. This video is not intended to take the place of your owner's manual. For complete details and other important safety information, please see your owner's information.